Now to balance redox reactions, we have to we have to use all of the knowledge that we've learnt so far about knowing the oxidation numbers and breaking them up into two half reactions. So the basic steps are number one, write the oxidation states uh, in at the top, uh, then balance the the elements besides hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, step number three, balance the oxygen with water. Uh, step four, balance the hydrogens with H+, because we're only be doing acid environments in this syllabus and not um, hydroxide ions. And then finally, make the charges uh, on both sides equal by adding electrons. So let's have a go at some problems. So first of all, uh, half reaction of iron 2 being oxidized iron 3. So first of all, you have to write out the equation. Don't have to worry about balancing it, of course, because that's what we're doing. Uh, and so these are the various steps 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We don't need to do steps 3 and 4 because there is no hydrogen or oxygen. Uh, and so, um, sorry, there is, um, there are balanced, there's one on each. Uh, and there's no hydrogen oxygen, so we don't do three and four. Uh, so the oxidation states here is plus two and plus three, and, and so that's all we have. Uh, we just need to make sure that uh, this two plus overall charge on this side is, is equal to a two plus over here, so yeah, there have to be a three minus one to get a two plus on that side, and, and so that's fairly easy for the first one. Here we have MnO4, so that's permanganate, uh, being, you don't need to know that, being reduced to manganese two plus. And so here we go, we write the equation out. Uh, so step, step number one, so that's a minus eight. It wants to get to a minus seven because of that. So we just need a plus seven up here. Uh, and this one's just by itself, so that makes that one easier. There's no, um, the manganese is balanced on both sides, so we skip that step. There's four oxygens over here, so we need four H2O to get the four oxygens. And then the hydrogens, that makes eight, so we need eight H pluses. And so then we just add up, we need the charges to be equal. So we have a two plus over here as a total, and uh, a minus and an eight plus over here, so we have a minus seven. So minus seven and two plus. Um, so the only way to um, get rid of that then is to add five here. So five minus um, this total of eight plus, did I say seven plus or eight plus? Uh, so eight plus minus one is seven plus. Not quite sure what I just said then. Maybe I will um, delete that out. I don't know. Uh, minus five, because I can't remember what I said. Uh, so that's two plus overall on both sides. Uh, so just double check, there's two plus there. Eight minus five minus one equals two over here, just to double check. Okay, so that's all five steps done. All right, next one. And we're getting harder, so this is it's a bit scary. So here we go. Um, so there we go, chromate, dichromate uh, to chromium, three plus. Uh, and so we've done that this one before on a previous on the previous video. So that's plus six, uh, and that's plus three. So I'll just quickly, um, I'll just do that one again. Uh, minus seven. So minus, uh, sorry, minus two times seven is minus fourteen. Uh, but we only want minus 12 because we want the uh, minus 2 overall. Uh, and there's two chromiums, so uh, we want a total of 12, so that's plus 6, okay? Uh, and so we balance. Um, here we have two chromiums, here we only have one, so we have to throw the 2 in there. Now we can balance the oxygen, 7 oxygen, so 7 waters. That then makes uh, 14 H pluses, so there we go. So let's do a better job on this one. Uh, so let's grab that. There's two. Um, three pluses, so that's a total of six on that side. Uh, we have a total of 14 here, uh, and then we have a minus two. Uh, and so that gives us a total of plus 12 here. Uh, and so in order for these to be equal, we have to minus six over there to get to a plus six. Uh, and so there are six electrons, and that's where they are right there. So this should be a total of plus six uh, on both sides. All right, and the final thing we need to do now is once we have balanced these two half equations using uh, uh, those steps that we just saw, we need to add them together. Uh, and once we add them together, we can cancel out um, things that are on uh, both sides of the equation. So that's step three and four. Uh, but the trick is you may need to multiply. Uh, and so if you have a 2A uh, equals a B and then a C, goes to an A, uh, you want to multiply these both sides by two to cancel things out. So that's, uh, that can be a little bit tricky. Uh, and so manganate, uh, you've done these two here. So this is the work that we've done the previous sections. Uh, and so we need to, first of all, number one is to get rid of the electrons. 
um, and so here is 5. So we need to times all of these out by 5 and we can get rid of the electrons there so they can see that we've added the 5s here. We can now cross that out. We bring it all down into the equation uh, and hopefully there is um, some more things to get rid of. No, there isn't. Uh, and so you're left with that. That's all you have to do. Uh, often there are H pluses or waters or uh, another species involved that you that's on both sides. You can cross those out uh, to get you your step four. Okay, so um, go grab some uh, questions out of the textbook or from your teacher and, and practice a few more of those.